research and innovation in terms of publications or patents, but yes, making our students uh, not the uh, job seekers, but in the line of creating the job. And for that, we had already initiated our efforts in terms of getting the establishment of PMU Business Incubation Center. But uh, that was in a very, very nascent stage. We had got the first stage of funding also from uh, UP government under the startup policy 2020. And uh, we are now in the process of streamlining various other developments that have been initiated by UP government. And they are going to be implemented by many organizations, many institutions. And in the same line, let me introduce you with uh, the new member in the team, Mr. Neeraj Mittalji, who has joined as uh, incubation manager. And he has a wide uh, range of experience in terms of incubation, innovation, startup activities. And he is also a graduate from NIT, uh, Kurukshet. Am I right, sir? Yeah. And he has done his MBA from Mary uh, Renaud University as well as exposure with IM Calcutta. And he has been into these kind of innovation incubation services for the last decade. If I am not wrong, there is much more to be described for his profile. But yes, we all understand that uh, he has now connected with most of the colleges, most of the departments, informally, formally. And now he will be uh, constituting his team out of the same team members. Because we do not want to have multiple teams those who could be working on the same uh, items or on the same uh, parameters. So it's better that we have a good council with a good representation of uh, members from all colleges. So, and under various heads, like for example, we have innovation coordinator, we have startup coordinator, area coordinator, or uh, this uh, NRS coordinator. These are various heads under which we need to have the coordinator. So accordingly, uh, the team members would be associated with the startup coordinator activity with uh, Neeraj Mittalji. So uh, that is why this was very important meeting for all of you to get inducted into this new setup as well as for him to induct into this uh, IIC to take up the BIC into a very good dimension that we all have envisioned. Madam uh, would be giving you more highlights on what is under IIC 5.0 and now we are all over with the, the COVID and everything so I should now uh, make it very very uh, understandable at this platform that let us now make it operationally uh, viable. It should not be just limited to the lecture series IIC. Let us come out with some kind of productivity out of it and outcome out of it. Because it might be just too early to commence, but uh, I think all of you must have gone through that information that NAP must be now uh, is changing the whole uh, framework and uh, grades might not be existent. So in that manner, it is going to be quite strict. It is quite uh, going to be quite stringent. And uh, as per the information and the uh, various other uh, bits and pieces of uh, news that we have gathered from, we have got to know that it will be now an outcome based assessment. An outcome based assessment would not be then putting up, uh, let you all know that we had the MOU with Bosch. And uh, that was a CSR activity of Bosch, and they have a one point program that a skill entrepreneurship workshop would be conducted under four uh, sessions, uh, four sessions of four modules. And the outcome was well decided in advance. They will be given the facilitation to open their own skill centers, in which they will be uh, skilling the undeveloped or the uneducated youth, those who are dropouts of 12, and they are not into formal line of education. They are not in being able to uh, graduate just because of any of the reasons. So, Bosch certification was given to them and uh, front line or very entry line jobs were, uh, were given to them after this skill training. So, this kind of skill uh, centers uh, were created out of this workshop and there were six in number by CNA. So, this is how any collaboration, any MOU or any activity will be giving us what outcome we have created out of this network. In the same manner, BIC is there, if patents have been there, then how many of the, them have been into the commercialization state that is T 
TOT that we call as uh, transfer of technology. So all these things now have to be taken in good stride. So I got a uh, just request on a few. That now coming on to the next category that is not just uh, the lectures but hands-on training workshops. The exposure towards various fields or various centers and uh, inviting the renowned people in terms of their entrepreneurship uh, mindset or these kind of uh, or conference. Thank you, ma'am. So coming to the agenda for today's meeting, first video of IIT. The meeting 
meeting has to be purposeful. The meeting has to have its intended objective attained. And if the people are hesitant to talk to us, by their faces, by their expressions, we should be able to understand that the things need to be made clear to them. And uh, I think we can talk to them on this part is that any kind of training is required that how they can be the uh, contributor to Arya or Kapila or Yukti and how it is important for them. Then only they will be able to educate their students and let us say the team of students. And we can have an orientation session on all these topics. We can one day we can have a talk session. I think this is the high time. You, you just uh, nominate that who could be the trainers who are well adapted to all these concepts, well known with these concepts, so that you have a team of two or uh, three as uh, you think, as you deem fit. And prepare a calendar so that they all are knowing actually about it, what they are working for. It's not now IAC only. It's something more than that. Because Kapila Apilo ke liye hai. Kapila, it's all about that if you are putting up your patents, if you are filing your patents, what all document you need to have with yourself so that you can take advantage of it. And Government of India, under this Ministry of Education has taken up this initiative ki they will be asking for top 10, uh, let us say, Kapila, under the Kapila scheme, top 10 patent uh, inventors or uh, the patent applicants so that the funding can be given to them as an incentive. But if you are falling short of that uh, document which is required to be uploaded, you might not get that. So the amount would come to the uh, university's account and that will be allocated to all those who have been shortlisted and been selected by the Ministry of Education. In the same manner, Arya mein aap logo ka innovation, uh, sara uh, jitna bhi entrepreneurship innovation se related jitna data tha, wo aap logo ne madam ke saath share kiya hai. Aap logo ne uska uh, submission kar diya hai. And the last day was 7th of November. And we had to work a lot on this with uh, team members, dedicated team members are here. So, Madam, you will tell me. So, you will see that Yukti and Arya and Kapila as well as IAC, they all had to be in the same sink. Kuch data wo IAC se utha raha tha, kuch yukti se utha raha tha, jo aapne 250, 300 uh, information, bits of information aapne ek portal pe dala, usko alag 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 mail id se dalna tha. So these are various challenges, madam, aap isko lich lije ki aap ek is pe, yukti pe, aria pe, aur kapila pe. You need to take a session so that everyone of the team members, they are educated on this. So Yukti is all about the startups, innovations. Kapila is all about the patents. And Arya is uh, linked to both of them. It is basically the innovation and entrepreneurship framework that uh, on which you all need to submit your information. Tabhi aap dekhe is baat jo aapka PSES, that is Program Study Evaluation Scheme hai. Usme we have deliberately incorporated the courses on innovation entrepreneurship with credits given to them. And you would be required now to uh, participate more and more into FDPs and organize the FDPs on innovation entrepreneurship only that is going to pay you if you have to get good score in Maria or in uh, any of such kind of schemes. Got it? And uh, ma'am will let you know later also. So I am just giving you the overview of it. Might be that I won't be able to continue uh, throughout the meeting that uh, the reconstitution of the members has been uh, proposed in this meeting and the older list as well as the proposed list has already been circulated amongst all the principals. So we have uh, uh, taken off the names of all those who were just the silent uh, spectators into it or they were not making their presence into any of the meetings or they could not contribute by any of the ways. So uh, depending upon what has been the level of contribution, their name has been struck off and new names have been proposed by their colleagues or by the principals or any other sources. So the uh, list is there under the constitution of principles also but it is not limited to that. If you think that this can be extended, this can be remodified and the student team has not been uh, incorporated into that, this will be your uh, initiative and efforts that we want at least six students, good students and preferably 
from uh, the pre final or the first years now all the first years they are over with their first semesters so uh, they will be going to be the uh, in the long run with us so you just choose these students which are having a knack for such kind of uh, entrepreneurial or innovative work or taking the initiative you have to choose them and now they should be taking all the activities they should be managing all the activities and student should be empowered and strengthened this is what i have proposed to be undertaken in 5.4 so this work has to be allocated to all the quarter <coughs> thank you uh, so ma'am has already mentioned that myself and mr shani we had gone for an exposure camp training program to their campus so we had uh, you know uh, various lectures were there by uh, startup founders innovators then we had sessions on it and uh, management etc so these are some snapshots of uh, our visit there next uh, as ma'am has already mentioned that we participated in the smart india hackathon so in the internal hackathon we had 21 teams and uh, in the main part uh, main uh, sis and <coughs> teams had participated and three of our teams had gone to the final uh, round and uh, mr ashish vishnoi had led the three teams then coming to the isc regional meet so we had a regional meet now the isc is actually uh, you know it's divided according to the region so we fall into the northern region so the northern region our uh, meeting was at the uh, dr apj abdul kalam technical university and three of us had represented the university myself uh, mr pradeep and mr pandey three of us i think uh, they should stand up so that everyone knows who are they who represented university again i would ask and request all of you to give a round of applause to them they were very good presenters they represented the team very well and the efforts were well appreciated by the ministry over there so this this thing should please thank you but it should be the owners of each and every one of us that when time comes to represent the university your availability should be there because these are the platforms where you get the exposure also you get to know the network of the people and that will be helpful to you in one and all ways so please make your availability and if you are available you are having the willingness then nothing would there that would be stopping you to represent your university so we had uh, we had a poster presentation done by uh, us by me and uh, mr pradeep and then we had done a session on nisp that was uh, mr pandey and i had done the session now one good thing was that in the entire nro region it was only our university that was chosen for this session because our startup policy is uh, quite good but that has yet to be circulated amongst all so these are the snapshots of our uh, sessions there बता तो दीजिए कौन कौन था वहां पर ये कौन है नीली शर्ट में सो वी हैव द मिस्टर अबे देवी हियर वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल फ्रॉम द मिनिस्ट्री देयर द डॉक्टर द मिस्टर अंकुश इज द कोऑर्डिनेटर फॉर द एनआरओ मीट देन वी हैड हु इज मिस्टर अबे जेरे डू दे ऑल नो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू नो अबे जेरे
अब हमने उसमें क्या करा ये चीज नहीं रखी है कि ये वाली एक्टिविटी एक्सक्लूसिवली हो सकता है कि यू आल्सो हैव अ गुड रिसोर्स पर्सन यू आल्सो हैव अ गुड प्रपोजल फॉर दैट अदर पर्सन में आल्सो है आपका वाला प्रोग्राम नहीं हो पाया डेट पर दूसरा हो गया क्योंकि इसमें बोनस काम भी है आपकी एक मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ एक्टिविटीज तो करनी है उसके ऊपर अगर है तो उसका बोनस है सो दैट इज ऑल्सो विल बी शेयर वेन यू हैव दिस ओरिएंटेशन ओके बट एक गैप जरूर आप आइडेंटिफाई कर लीजिए जो भी आपके गैप्स रहे हैं टिल फोर पॉइंट ओ वी स्टार्टेड विद थ्री पॉइंट ओ थ्री थ्री पॉइंट ओ इज डन फोर पॉइंट ओ इज डन वी आर जस्ट अवेटिंग दी रिटेन But we have to take up all the necessary steps to correct out, uh, to weed out all kind of gaps. Okay, right. this should be the uh, objective of this meeting. University. So uh, that can also be done, but a celebration day there is no limit. Everybody can uh, get up exactly. But who is going to submit as per your format? Ma'am, actually, uh, all of them can submit. Then I put in a consolidated report that it was on a university level. I put in the consolidated. So all the activities, as I said, twenty uh, fifth of these five can be done, and twenty eighth we would I would appreciate if everybody can send me the reports. And I think one event is pending uh, next week. The uh, deeps are that related to IIT or just the five can be done. Which one? Twenty five. Twenty five. Report twenty five. Okay. And uh, which event? Uh, your activities are done now. For this, then sir, then you will be. Now 
process. Can directly get the email. Huh? So that we can directly. Ah, that's get what. That's what. It it was the system. I suppose you all used to get the and the uh, CC was done to all the heads of the institutes or the colleges. Sorry, I didn't know. Yeah. Okay, okay madam, please please you have all the points, please. And the, the next thing is that uh, the the sharing of the emails of all the members from different uh, colleges. Hmm. Like we have all the members here. So if we know the email addresses of all the members, so let's say if I conduct the activity here, I can send the email to all the members, and then if required, if I have to give the demo or if I have to give the kind of a promotional talk or information talk to the students in their respective college, I can contact it to them and I can go to their college and I can give a talk to the student. This is the program we are going to organize, and if the student wish, they can also join the program. Done. So see, we are awaiting the confirmation from the side of the principals, those who did confirm the nominations today itself, and that uh, all we are assuming that all of them who are present today, these members are confirmed. Okay. So in there, आप लोगों ने आपने उसमें जो share कराया है, तो उसमें ये सारी information हो and that is well circulated amongst all the group members. Okay. Along with the SOPs as well as the checklists. So that each and every one of them have the latest copy. Hello everyone. Afternoon, ma'am. Afternoon, ma'am. Uh, I'm Sir Pooja Zha uh, from Nursing College. Uh, I'm 2022 passed out batch of MSc 